miss any telltale signs. Если присмотреться, вина есть во всем. Smell any funny spices? Я ничего не вижу, босс. Эй, передави документы. What? Паспорт давай, ебать, мам. I don't fucking understand you. А, да ты по-английски не шаришь? Что за хуйня с тобой? Я говорю, паспорт покажи. Все вы нелегалы как один. Ты по гражданским арестам, ты понял? Америка — страна возможностей, а я воспользуюсь возможностью послать тебя обратно через границу, откуда ты приперся. What? <laughs> Very good, Joseph. Real fine. We'll make a civilian protector of our nation's borders from undesirable elements of you yet. Sorry, citizen, just a training exercise. Ah, okay. Well, I'm so glad that you patriots are out here defending this fine American desert sand. Well, thank you. When you could be in town fucking some girls and further destroying the gene pool. Hey, there's a real problem here. Да, люди мотивированы необходимостью прокормить свои семьи, едут сюда работать по черному за копейки и прут, прут в эту страну. It's a disaster. And that's why we form the Civil Border Patrol. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. My patriot meter's going off. Huh? <laughs> come on, both of you. We've got some illegals over them hills. Come on, come on, you drive. You drive, let's go. Drive, get in the back. What's your name, citizen? I'm Joe, that there's Joseph. Trevor. Okay, Trevor. Well, it's saying we need to head for the Yellow Jack Inn. Oh, good. They love me in there. I'm definitely getting a strong reading. The Patriot Meter predicts undesirables with up to 79% accuracy. <laughs> Surely this is a sick joke. I mean, I love hanging with freaks, but you two losers cannot be for real. Unfortunately, this is as real as it gets. These people are criminals who threaten our way of life and drive down our property prices. Они думают, что могут приехать сюда в поисках лучшей жизни для себя и своей семьи. Это противоречит Конституции. Come one, come all, I say. This country's got bigger problems to deal with. <laughs> well, that's because you've been brainwashed by the secular media. Don't you worry, though. We'll convert you. My brother showed some, uh, well, let's just call it sexual weakness in his younger days. But now he's a happily married man with three children, and he rarely acts out. Well, if you do well in your civil boarded patrol trial... Well, they must be inside. Go see if you can flush them out, Trevor. Is there? Place in the world I'd rather be than drunk as a skunk at the Alamo Sea. Hey, you're banned. Is anyone not banned? Don't you cause no trouble now. Oh, this is pointless. Everyone in here has done something illegal. Got these tickets to the Benders game today, so I'm all good. Looking forward to it. Hey, Trevor, get out here now! They're in that car, let's go! Get in, we're gonna lose them! Go, go! Let's bring him in, boys! Here, take the stun gun! Really? Nobody needs to die here, we're civilized people. How can you not keep up with two drunk mariachi singers? They're having a lot more fun in their car. Put a look at them, drunk out of their minds on Uncle Sam's dime. The население страны оскорнение коренного населения. Это не по-американски. Hold on your pointed hats. We're taking the scenic route. They're a law unto themselves. Hey, hey, you stop the vehicle! Stop the vehicle! This is a citizen's arrest! Well, of course they wouldn't understand me, now would they, Joseph? Они отказываются ассимилироваться. I don't know. They come here taking our job. All those mariachi singer jobs have been stolen. They don't just take one. No. Some of them are doing two or three thankless low pay jobs to support their families. It's an outrage. This is why you never let a rookie drive. 
Keep those stun guns at the ready, my friend. They're probably gang members. I heard that some of these undesirables are trafficking illegal guns into our very, very peaceful country. Don't subdue those illegals, Trevor. I want to see how you handle that stun gun. They're polluting the American bloodline. We gotta stick to them. Dios mío. Sorry about that, pal. Don't apologize to them. They're the ones breaking the law here. Oh, very nice, Trevor. Respectful, but firm. We can handle it from here. Get in the vehicle. You've had your fun. It's time to go home. Okay, okay. I do what you say. No draw. You go no draw. Well, thanks for the help, citizen. America's a little bit safer because of you. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Please, son. <laughs> you want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Uh, fuck oh. you. Uh. So where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit, the picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, 10 years in the sun, your brain is melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? That I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, sane, 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 okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know. But I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty on. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. So what is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about it? God damn it! Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on. 
No, Cha. We can't deal with them yet. There's too many of them. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH, north of Chumas. All right, all right. The O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo. Well, one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. on this food, Chop. Do it. Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support, like, right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. Look, why do these guys, the O'Neills, want you dead anyway? There was a deal, the contract to end all contracts, serious multinational stuff. I was this close, and they stole it off me. Oh, oh, hold up. If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? Wow! What's with all the questions? Can't you just take my side for once? Hey, I'm coming along for the ride, ain't I? Yeah, but I sense your heart ain't in it. Yeah, I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. Always with the quips! You're such a depressing cynic! Oh, poor Trevor! I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions. Wait a second. I remember this chopper. We used this to break into the IAA building. You stole it from the FIB? Not so. I took it in lieu of payment. There was a rifle on board, too, so if your panties aren't all in a twist over stolen office supplies, can you please use it to scan the forest for the O'Neills? Oh, I'm your hitman now. Hey, hey, we here on the ground. Them hick dudes in the woods. That model's fitted with a thermal scope. Look for their heat signatures. Check the river. They might be trying to float out of here. Yeah. 
happy camper. You want to show mercy to the last of these innocents? Brought his ass down. Higher ground, Mikey. You find them on the hill. Move your sights up a little. I might have seen them. That guy wasn't moving fast enough. Mike, there's something! Fuck! Me! Incoming! He's behind the rock. I can't get a shot. It's on you, homie. You know what Hicks smell like. Uh, Frank, you wanna do me a favor here? Find him before he blows me to pieces. Rockets! his ass up.
good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back at Casa Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. You? What are you idiots up to, huh? We think we're the best America. It's been designed for the war. It's a country that can solve genocide and call it the war of the Lord. The fellow can't speak two words of English, but he knows this is the best country. Jesus! Hey. Hey, what's that? The illegals ruining the place. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Get in. in. Rachen. You still got that stun gun? Oh, good man. Always prepared. Oh, oh, the depths old troll for 500 bucks. You two are completely loco. If you'll forgive my use of Spanish. You do know what that means, right? You spout all this hippie nonsense, but I know you're a patriot, Trevor. I can just tell by looking at you. Okay, get me a clone so I can incapacitate him humanely. <laughs> Adios, amigos! Hey, Civil Border Patrol, keep your hands where I can see them. This is a citizen's arrest! Not you lunatics again! You could have killed me! Get in a vehicle now, sir! D-Guy! D-Guy! Okay! Okay! Good work, boys! <laughs> now head for the C-Man factory. We got reports of more illegals working over there. How'd you get your hands on this patrol car? Uh, I'm a proud park ranger, my friend. A trained security professional enjoying his time off. Well, and Joseph here, uh, well, I ain't sure what he does for a living. You see, we're men. We don't talk about ourselves. We're two like-minded pro-Americans who met online, and that's all I need to know. Is there a stoplight I'm not seeing here? Go! Don't stop! You're driving like a foreigner! Step on it, Trevor! Well, now that's an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. Probably cartel members or child molesters. Haven't you got anything better to do? What, than protect our country? No. We're just stepping in where the government has failed. I'm a big supporter of President... <laughs> I'm a big supporter of President Lawton. But he's gone soft on the key issues. Everyone's so damn worried about the Hispanic vote these days. I voted for Lawton, you freak. Well, you'll say anything, won't you, freak? We didn't do nothing. Well, now 
That's an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. Probably cartel members or child molesters. Haven't you got anything better to do? What, than protect our country? No! We're just stepping in where the government has failed. I'm a big supporter of President Lawton, but he's gone soft on the key issues. Everyone's so damn worried about the Hispanic vote these days. I voted for Lawton, you freak. Well, you say anything, won't you, freak? We'll come back for him. Don't let the other one get away. Me. Come on, hit the gas! For the love of God, Trevor, put your foot down! Civil Border Patrol, run and I'll put you down again. You understand me? Okay, okay. Let's go, buddy. You're coming with us. Yeah, yeah, underlay, underlay. Come on, move. In the vehicle now. I said move or I will zap you again. I'm getting in, okay? Crazy assholes. All right, fellas. Let's go back for the other one. I thought I had an irrational hatred for my fellow man, but you two are something else. Please, I have a family. Well, that ain't my problem, sir. You've outstayed your generous welcome offer to you by these here United States. What? I have a visa. It's in my passport at my house. Well, you exploited the cracks in the system. Look, I have nothing against you, uh, personally. I'm not saying you can't come here for a vacation. You know, I went to Mexico once. I hated it, but I didn't try to stay there and infiltrate society and subvert the local culture. Uh, I wonder, do you have a lot of success with women? арестован за преступление против демократии. What? Go car, go now. Окей. Okay. Иисус. Двигай, или я тебя заставлю двигаться. Go, go, fucker, go. Take it easy, I'm going, I'm going. Good work, everyone. Thanks for the help, Trevor. You're a fine patriot. We'll take it from here. Okay, I'm gonna ask you one last time nicely to get out of the car. You're impeding national security, boy. We made Uncle Sam proud today.
Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy helicopter, Truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right, but why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? 
then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Not a hipster affliction. Why well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon? The skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from L.S.? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. Don't break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> and that's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Mm hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, I brought my police scanner to drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. All right. Four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank.
This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many? We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! Well, I'm not gonna out outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor... He says, what took you? So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. 
Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice? Choose someone good. Yeah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? You sure this is the guy? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Well, sure. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos! Hmm? Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's, it's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. It, first you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's, she's a 60-year-old housewife. Ah, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them, and now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey! Why? No! You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palato Bay, and we're going to do this thing. Any questions, comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. That crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, you grab the tape, they rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a work for everyone? Great, let's go. Let's get this done. Polito Bay. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Uh, shit, not me. Huh. Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. 
Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! Jeff, will you tell these gentlemen about your first job? T, man. You could just as easily. You tell them. I'll do a sanity check. Trevor, the ultimate judge of sanity. Well, it was uh, part of the interview process, I guess is how you'd call it. Trevor knew I could cook, wanted to see if I could handle myself. This cash for gold guy comes through town. It's the reason he had funds. Next thing, we're burying him and his bodyguard in the junkyard. Well, most of them, anyhow. 50K. He did fine. He's better at all aspects of the job now, from killing to dismemberment. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember, if he don't remember, I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job. Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here, I'll back the facts. A checks cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Yeah. It was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> ah. Franklin, Cher. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay, the score was like two stacks, man. 2G, take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Dive pack went off, home. Money was useless then. Dive pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin. We all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Ow, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. Who, me? Yeah. You wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. Uh, I've got my work, I've got my life. I never the two shall meet. If we're risking our asses, we gotta be family. How about that, die back? Man, fuck you, sense of humor. Hey, let's just do this thing, all right? drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready, because we're gonna wanna go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know where you gotta be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you. We ready for this? I could use a restroom break. And risk getting ID'd. You're an idiot. I gotta go! It's number two! Yeah, we'll pinch it off. All right, we all good? Let's hit them! We, uh, doing this? This won't take a minute. Get down on the floor! Today's going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor! Now! You and you! Out from behind the counter! That's it! Hands in the air! Come on, then! Keep an eye on our trusted employee! Okay! You got the crowd! Cops should be here soon, so... Keep an eye out! Just sit this out! Door's ready to pop! Come kick it in, Em! If I ever meet this alarm guy, I'm gonna fucking shoot him. Yeah, not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! 
We got hostages! Shit! Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. Scare yourselves up! <laughs> Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Move in! Call up procedure! You know you're surrounded, so you ain't get the ride to the airport! I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and, uh... We'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music. Sweet mother of shit. That was your fault. Barbarian! The gas keeps on rising. Collateral damage, Keith. I got a minigun, you humorless prick. They got eyes in the sky. Keith, down the bird. Hit, hit me. They're better equipped than we thought. Why the fuck do they got all these choppers out here? Why is she still flying? Look out, it's coming down. Ooh, I got you covered. They sent reinforcements! We're not going through this, not with 50 pounds of gear. Blast it! Bring the fence down! They're on to us! Metal at the fence. Defense, oh bro! Unleash hell on! There is no way out! We're bringing down the fences here, real and emotional. It might be the glass I hit before, but I'm sweating in this suit! I'm swimming in this thing! Plow through it! Lay down your weapon! Holster it! Hey, Frank! We need another escape route! Can you find a vehicle? Something that might stand up to gunfire. There's some construction around the way. All right. Too bad. That'll do it. Only about another half mile to move in these days. The troops are here. mess out here. You okay? I ain't dead yet. I'm on my way. Take cover now. How many 
many dudes they got in this private army! So I guess we shooting our way out of here. Turn around immediately. The bank robbers in the other direction. Hey, asshole! Are you almost here? Hey, come on, Pump, move, man. You hear me? Right. Hey, what have I done? You hear that gunfire? That's how I'm doing. Hang in there. Who else would be fucking this up? Where you at, kid? Listen to the shoot. Can't point they tough. It's getting hairy over here. It's hairy over here too, man. Chill. Hey, man, these guys are every fucking where. Hey, I'm here. There's our ride! Good kid! Go, 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 go! We have a visual on the perp. Go left! There's another tank coming from the right! Hey, quite a disturbance you calls! Ah, oh, shit. Well, you know me and Trevor. Wherever we go, drama follows. That's one way of putting it. Hey, hold on! You guys been making friends? Uh, let's go inside, regroup. You shot old man, huh? Regroup just fine. Now y'all look hot in the mud. Uh, okay, you super shit. Come on! The platform! That's a power what the thing, fuck? buddy. They're all over us! Hold them down! Hold back! Ah! Come get some! This way, through the warehouse! Use me as cover, Frank. You don't want to get out front. Stay behind me, kid. I got the armor. I'm starting to feel under dress, dog. Paychecks no good when you're dead, you ass. Hey, Frank, you good? So I guess we're shooting our way out of here. Team, uh, come in. I'm trying to hold these guys. Where are you? We got to do a chicken factory to get away from the tanks. Chicken factory? You holding on, F? Hey, homie, I trust you all, buddy. Oh, more army showing up! Come on, come on! Damn! Back it up! Just fuck off already! I need some help out here. Hey, man, these guys are every fucking weird! Last call! Could be our only way out of here! How you doing back there, Frank? There's a ground team on the way to the factory. I might be able to get the drop on them. All right, you do what you can do, Chef. I'm glad you got hired for the job. There's some guys trying to get in here. Chef's holding them off. Might give us the window we need to jump a train. And oh, hey, we got Jesus. a train to catch. Give us a minute. How long? I just macked a tank, you prick. Bite me! I think they think there's more than one of me! They're pulling back! Okay! Hey, slip out of town and call Lester for instructions! I got news! You're wasting a Trevor Phillips ink, my friend! Chef caught us a break, people! Let's get our train! Look out! The end of the warehouse! The train! It's our only shot! Here we go! Right here! Get on! Fucking it! Let's go. Yo. Uh, easy, easy. I'm a friendly. Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay. Here's your cut. 
considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, that's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once Operation Save the Worlds ago. Get your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you, homie. Right. Come on. Seatbelt. Serious? up here. I've clearly made some very bad decisions. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand, you understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor, the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? THE monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Oh, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, this better be <laughs> fucking good! Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Fuck. Ah! Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Be under Rat and Canyon Bridge in a boat. We'll stay in touch on the headsets. Train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel train. Gold. Sometimes gold, sometimes our work, priceless antiquities. Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. And here she is, the magical train. Chugga, 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 chugga. 
Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back in the trailer. Back in the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Oh, getting changed?